First, how to import your robots into Isaac Sim. We have many types of importers, UIDF, STEP, and now ONSHIP. Good UIDF files can be parsed automatically together with physics and all the joins added. The keyword is good. Uh, um, sometimes UIDF files don't come with good uh, mass numbers, inertias, or materials, as you can see, uh, compared to the STEP or ONSHIP. Um, but with step and on shape, we they only take care of the meshes, so we need to rig up the physics manually. I will cover that in the next slide. But first, let's see how you can use the UIDF to import your robot. You can uh, use the UIDF importer, specify your UIDF files so as the beta doc. Um, so specify some other things so that's you know the joy strength whether this uh, robot should be fixed but it's not because it's you know it's a walking robot and then uh, click load it will um, pause and load the robots for you let's try adding a ground plane um, and uh, create a dome light which provides a uh, more natural looking lighting environment. You can specify a 4K texture to the dome light like this. And reduce the intensity um, so that it doesn't appear too harsh. Um, now, what I mean by all the physics is taken care of. And now, you know, you import and that's it. You can start moving the robots already. Uh, you can control the joint by searching for joints there and uh, specify the target positions. You can do all of this in Python code as well together with the UI. So uh, this is URDF. Let's look at step importer next. For the step importer, you can use this GrabCat website and search for your robot. Download the step files if you don't have already, and use the same thing, uh, the step importer, to point it to your file. And it will load the meshes for you. Uh, and you can do the same thing here. Now, these are just meshes, um, they don't have physics uh, created yet. So that is for step. It's similar with on shape connector. You can search for your robot and it will automatically parse all the parts and import them into Isaac Sim for you. So that takes care of the robot side. You can of course also use uh, FBX and OBJ importers in Isaac Sim for your environments. After importing your robot meshes, if you need to add physics to it in Isaac Sim, here's how. We need to organize your robot parts logically according to how each part might move. Um, for this bitter dog, we have five main parts, the body and four legs. Each leg has uh, the upper part and the lower part as well. We'll create a physics for each part and then add an articulation uh, with all of its corresponding joints over here and here, here and here and so on. Then we add uh, articulation drives to move them. Let's look at this in more details. First create a ground plane move the uh, robot up a bit replace the uh, hash distant light with the dome light reduce the uh, intensity I like to work with robots under the beautiful sky so we group on the body meshes under this X form and we can convert that into a rigid body like this. As you can see with the pink lines that tell us where the actor physics actors are. Now we do the same thing with the four legs. 
group them. So we finish the first legs. Um, repeat the same step for the the others. Create rigid body. Now, if you click play, everything just fall because they are not jointed. Let's create an articulation for that. We mainly want to create joints between the body and this upper legs like this with a revolute joint. Specify the correct uh, rotation plane. Don't worry if this is too fast, everything will be in the docks. And then we position the uh, joint where it should be, like so. And then repeat the steps for the remaining Same thing here. Now when you simulate, it will flop because it doesn't have any drives. So now let's add the drive to the joints. You can specify the uh, stiffness of the joint like this. And now um, everything is driven and you can do the same thing with dragging the target position so you can do this in Python. <laughs>